Something has gone horribly wrong with the great British snowman. The snowmageddon of 2018 has produced not the fat doughboys of yesteryear, but a series of weird, shrunken mutants. What do these snowball engineers make of it on Primrose Hill? What's the problem with the snow? It's too soft. It doesn't stick? No. It's a work of art, this. Time to call in an expert. Dr. Suze Kondu is a professor of snowflakeology, or something like that. There's a problem with our snowmen. What's the, what's the problem? Well, now, first things first, we don't want to discriminate just because our snowman is tiny, but there is a bit of a challenge in making a bigger snowman using this kind of snow. The reason being that the snow that we have at the moment is incredibly dry, and it's the liquid part that makes snow stick together. So if we're missing that, the snow just can't pack together very well. So it's been incredibly cold because of the fact that it's coming from the east. It's sort of hit Siberian temperatures. And so these beautiful, I don't know if you've noticed, they're actually quite beautiful six-sided snowflakes that we're getting at the moment, but they're absolutely tiny. And so because of the fact that it's been so cold, the water vapor, even in the atmosphere, has all frozen to make this very small crystal, very powdery snow that just won't stick together. It's the wrong kind of snow. It's the wrong kind of snow. The big fat flake at the top is the perfect building block for a good snowman. The stuff at the bottom that looks like aspirins because it's too cold and too dry makes rubbish snowmen. Bad for snowmen, but this kind of powdery snow is seriously good for tobogganists. And skiers too. The science behind the wrong kind of snow is so compelling. Go away, go away, go away. Other life forms were drawn irresistibly to the Newsnight Snowman.